interesting story, uh, and it's actually quite cool because it's very similar to why you're here right now. So about eight years ago, Roland did his like, first tour through Australia with a, a guy, another guy called Rob, uh, Randy Holman, and he gets to the East Coast and came the West Coast. The West Coast 7 up was small, like five people. And two of those, hey? Like 12. 12, all right. I under-exaggerate you over exaggerate. Thank you, appreciate it. And, and two of those people were me and Graham. Why was that? Because we're always up for education. We're always up for learning. Something new. There's, no, there's never a point in my mind where I don't think that I can't learn something new. Can't take one gold nugget away. All right. So we attended the seminar. We really connected with Roland's message, but also him as a him as a person as well. And then I sort of uh, straight after like this, we joined up with Harper and all that sort of stuff. And then um, I said, Hey man, we need to come see you. Me and Graham like, Yeah, let's go see Roland. See what he's talking about. So I'm like, Hey man, we need to come see you. He's like, yeah, sure, no worries. I'm like, it's single student, right? Like, this kid's powerful. This kid changes his life. Every class, if you're teaching great classes, right? Isn't what he learns in class, isn't that what he's going to take to school? Isn't that going to walk out, get in the car, and sit with his mom, and how he interacts with everything, right? It's one small little chunk. But why do we have better students? Because it's our product. It's our product. who we are, right? So every single student is an important process in what we're creating and what we're doing. So we should be looking at every student and thinking about how can we create a better student. For me, I use the word martial arts athlete. This is why I like this word, because an athlete, the word athlete means ready to compete. Because if we're just like hoopla, just doing moves, but we're not ready to actually perform it, to me, you're wasting your money. What that means is that this, if I teach you a self-defense technique, but you can't do it, what is that value? If I teach you a quarter of a form, but you weren't ready to compete or show off or perform or to have the confidence to walk up in front of people and do it, I, I'm doing her a disservice. She's not ready for that, right? Why else do we have more instructors? To grow. To grow, yeah. Why else do we have more instructors? Better quality training. So you got somebody in front of each person or maybe two or three people in front of each person. Cool, I like that. Why else do we have more instructors? Why? Opportunity to impact more people, right? Yeah. To grow. You can open another school, or maybe impact more people, or send them to the elementary school, whatever you want to do, right? Engagement. Engagement. There's a lot of different personalities, so they're not engaged better yeah. than yeah. I learned from you, and then I learned something from him and her, and like get a little bit different variety. Yep, it's cool. Yes, sir. Ah, oh my God, dude. What are you doing back there? <laughs> no. So think about this. Think about this. What does an instructor mean? Hmm? He leads, right? What is it, or she leads? What does an instructor mean? Why? You're telling five words. Was it seven words? Ten words. Ten words, right? What I just told you right now, was that ten words? No. That will actually change your more source. But that's how we gotta look at what we do. It's not just a camp. No, this is transformational experience, right? Transformational experience. So, let's move on. <laughs> I talked about five years. Everything that you sell in your school has to come from the why factor, okay? So remember that when it comes to marketing, it has to come from the why factor. Again, what we did when I came back from my trip and traveling the world and learning about martial arts, when I came back, I was like, how do we market martial arts, right? How do I go from just like, hey, you're getting bullied all the time. Or hey, like you have no confidence, you should do martial arts. Like hey, like you're not popular, do martial arts because you've got all these issues. You come in, like we're the issue problem solver. Like I don't want to be that person. I want people to sort of sign for martial arts because it's cool. I want you to come train because you want to be an athlete. You want to kick some ass. You want to be awesome. And the third person they do the same combination on is their partners. We have everybody puts a sparring gear on and they do it one on one, one and one, one and one. That's called tech sparring. Text sparring is just doing the combination that we taught on each other back and forth, moving around circles. Most sparring schools are like, hey, let's warm up, do this, okay guys, free spar. And guess what? That one kid loves it. And everybody else is on their way to quit. Okay? What I found in this system is we do four sparring combinations for each pelt. And they come up and we hit bags, we hit pads, and then I talk about the power of sparring. So at graduation, what was number one? 
they come up and do a section of a form. So I'll take these six and they come up and do a section of the form. These six will do that section of the form or the whole form. They'll do the form. Boom. And I talk about the power of learning forms. I'll talk to the parents, I'll talk to students. You guys memorize these moves, you got them down, you came up, you still perform for everybody. That's awesome. Now we're going to sparring combinations. We pull out the gear, I'm pulling this around instructor program, and they're not good at, not ready for being on the floor. Well, they can go in the admin side of things, or they can be part of my promotions team, or they can be part of my membership consultant, a junior membership consultant. So we have, you can come out of our, our future leaders program, I'm not just training you to be an instructor, I'm teaching you to be a leader. Does that make sense? There's no guys. So these guys start filling all those job roles that you're probably doing yourself. Yeah, this is where you start as a business owner following the Pareto's law, which is 80-20. Yeah, you can do all these jobs really well. It's probably the best thing in business. Like, I can sell my membership at my school better than anyone else. Why? Because it's my business. so we can employ more instructors and get better gear and be more successful and make a bigger impact. But this is what you need to do. You need to come from a place of heart. I want to give the gift of martial arts because I know the difference. So when I'm, when we're, when I'm preaching anything, it's all about, I just want you to think about the benefits you've got from martial arts. Think of the difference it's made in your life. Parents, just have a think about it. The difference that martial arts has made in your child's life. Imagine if you could gift that to someone. And then you got to here, and you went one, two, whoosh, but then it wasn't like, you didn't think about the takeoff, because you were thinking about like, I don't want to cry. If you really take that time to push off, and you feel off the ground, every time, I don't want to get higher, so it's not the time, right? One time up. And you can't really condition that back.